Rise and Shine family, listen, do not get off this video. I promise you by the end of it, you are going to be more powerful, okay? I want you to think about this movie, The Matrix, because today what you're going to learn is going to change your life forever, I promise you, right? On this movie called The Matrix, and I encourage you guys to go see it and really look at it. Not just watch the movie and be entertained, but really watch the movie and observe, study it, okay? I'm going to interest you by giving you guys the character names, Neo, Morpheus, Trinity, right? These are your main three characters, okay? Now, Neo, the meaning of his name comes from the word neocortex. Actually, let me go back. Neo is an anagram for the word one. It's when you switch letters around. Anagram means when you switch letters around, it has a different spelling, right? So uh, one is, is, is Neo, right? Neo is the one, right? Okay, so that comes from your neocortex, which is associated with your mammalian part of your brain, which is, con which is connected to conscious, your consciousness and your motor skills, being able to move around, right? So Morpheus though, uh, Morpheus is the god of dreams, right? So the god of dreams, right? Now, Trinity, meaning three. Now, comes from the Godhead, right? I don't mean to get biblical on you, but Father, Son, Holy Spirit, or God, Jesus, Holy Ghost, right? Now, God, or your uh, uh, the, the top, right? You never see this person. You never see this entity, right? Yet it is responsible for everything around you. You know what else is like that? Your consciousness. You never can see it, but it's responsible for everything around you. See, your eyes are only responsible for bringing light to your eyes and then sending it to your brain and your brain recognizing what you see. So it's your consciousness that really is receiving all this information and doing something with it. That's your ears, your taste, everything. If you didn't have a consciousness, you wouldn't even be able to see the world around you. So that's God, right? Okay, now, after that is Jesus or flesh, right? God becomes flesh, and it does. If you put out negative energy, you will become that, right? And I have, just on a physical standpoint, if I were to reach out and touch something, I must first think it, right? Because my mind, my body follows my mind. My mind becomes flesh. My consciousness becomes flesh. And then what about your soul? Your soul is your essence, right? That thing about you that everybody's gonna remember, that je ne sais quoi, right? When you go on, when you pass on, right? Jesus said, I'm gonna send to you my Holy Spirit to guide you, right? Think about this. How many of your loved ones can you just remember right now in your head? Remember means to put together again. How many of you, how many, how many of them can you remember, put together again, hear their voice and everything in your head and get strength from it, right? Connect with that ancestor, right? This means that you live forever through your soul, through your, through our memories, right? Through your, through your, your charisma, your essence, right? That would, that will forever be remembered, right? Now on this movie, when it shows uh, Trinity in her room, she's in room 303. It says 303, so that equals 33, which is the age that Christ died. There's 33 bones uh, uh, to the vertebrae, which leads to your pineal gland, your consciousness, right? Wow, Jesus dies at 33, and so do many of the other uh, gods that we once held, held in high regard, okay? That number 33 means a whole lot, family, okay? Now, Morpheus is in room 101, okay? And he means one. Trinity means three. And they're both in those rooms. See, the makers of these movies, they know what they're doing, family. All right. Let's just fast forward to Neo when he goes to the door, right? There's a person at the door he talks to. And the person tells Neo, wow, you're my savior, right? You're my own personal savior, my own personal Jesus, right? And Neo looks at him and the guy says, I know <laughs> you don't exist, right? Because he, Neo's saying, don't tell anybody about this. Oh, I know you don't exist, right? And then he goes, you look a little whiter than usual. Are you okay? Because th the movie's trying to tell you that we have um, taken these ideas and we've put them on paper now, and now we've made them to fit certain races of people, right? So now Jesus is whiter because we live in a more white-dominated society, right? It just happens, family. In every culture, you can see that things begin to change to to uh, to um, lean towards the majority, right? Okay. So, moving on. Neo, go, uh, Neo now goes to meet Morpheus, right? Which is the god of dreams, right? Neo means, uh, or Morpheus is the god of dreams, right? So I told you what Neo meant. I told you what Trinity meant. And now I'm telling you that Morpheus actually means dream world. Your Neo, your consciousness, okay? In this dream world, right? This is what brings about your awakening. Once he meets Neo, or once he, Neo meets Morpheus, Morpheus is able to show him that this world he thought was real was not. He told him, you're in a dream world, Neo. What you think about this world is not what it is. We don't know when we are. We don't even know where we are. And do we know when we are right now? Time has been changed over and over again, right? Uh, Anno Domini, right? Uh, BC, right? Now, 
we got these different frames of years and all these things are done by people who are in power at those times. So I'm telling you, time is not what we call it. It is not 2020, right? So we don't know when we are, right? We don't know where we are. Without navigations, without street signs, we couldn't tell you where we are. That is a social thing that we agreed upon to find us, right? We don't know where we are. Longitude and latitude are just things that humans construct. It's kind of like when you create uh, a, a measurement, right? We're going to agree on what a foot is or what a kilometer is, right? We're going to agree on what a kilogram is or kilo is or a pound is, right? These things are socially agreed upon and don't make them facts. You understand? So this is just the way we understand our world. And that is a dream world because the way we see the world is not how it is at all, right? It's just like when you look at the sky, it appears blue, but is it really? Really? Because the sky touches the ground. It's right in front of you and it's pretty clear. Same thing with water. Water's clear, but when it's deep, it appears blue. So what, uh, what it appears to be may not be what it always is. So you must always challenge your consciousness, right? So Morpheus is challenging Neo's consciousness by saying about the things that you guys agree to socially, years, times, dates, measurements, words. These things are of a dream world. They don't, they're not actually real, right? So Neo finally wakes up, right, after taking the pill, right? And now Neo has to learn. Neo has to become great. So Morpheus takes him into this training room so Neo can learn, right? And you're gonna notice that they're dressed in white and black, right? Um, Morpheus is in black, stripe of white going across, um, his, his gi, right? And Neo is dressed in white with the stripe going across his gi, right? They're yin and yang. This is all esoteric, family. This is not about Morpheus and Neo and their cool clothes. It's really wanting you to look deeper. This is telling you that the Neo part of your brain is now contending with the dream world, right? And now the, the dream world has to be able to show you when you're in a dream, you got to first become conscious that you're in a dream. Now, and this oftentimes when you do this, you can wake yourself up out of that dream. But when you're, when you're in the dream, the dream is not fun unless you believe it, right? Unless you truly believe you're in that dream and you can't tell everything around you seems to be just like it is right now. In fact, you could wake up right now in your bed and you would believe it because dreams are just as real as this is right now, right? So they're in there fighting, right? And Neo can't keep up with Morpheus. And Morpheus says to him, do you want to know why I beat you, right? Do you think that me being stronger than you or faster than you? Because Neo says because you're stronger and faster. Morpheus, do you think me being stronger and faster than you has anything to do with my muscles in this world? He squats down in front of him and says, you think this air you're breathing? From that point, it clicked, right? Neo says, I can consciously go into my mind, meditate, make myself faster, right? Because Neo is associated with your cognitive ability and motor skills, right? And the faster the brain works, the faster the body would work, right? Scientists are now looking at this thing now, as far as neuroscience, if athleticism is actually genius and not just athleticism. So many times we've been told that, you know, you just, you're fast, right? You jump high, but no, it's genius to be able to do these amazing feats that these people do. Right. And I'm not saying that an athlete can go into uh, a lab and do rocket science, but I'm also saying a rocket, rocket, a rocket science, a ro rocket scientist, forgive me, cannot go out and do what an athlete does either. Right. There's something in your brain that has you unlocked to where you can do things that other people can't match, that other people cannot do. So I'm, this is what I mean. This is the part about making you guys powerful. What if you were to consciously go inside of your mind and say to yourself, I want to be faster. I want to be stronger. I want to be more of this. I want to be more of that. Who's to say you cannot unlock your potential, right? Unlock parts of your brain and become great, become greater through meditation, through, through, through your dream or through your mind, because it is your mind that becomes you. It is your mind that shapes your very reality, right? The word matrix means a, a, a environment in which something develops, an environment in which something develops. Think about that now. Isn't the world around you an environment? Do you not develop in it? That means this is a matrix, right? And then your home becomes a matrix because things go different inside your home. And based on how you were raised, it shapes how you see the world. But it's in here, it shapes how you see the world. It doesn't shape the world. See, what you've been through, let's just say you've been in, a, in bad relationships and you might say all women or all men are bad. Well, your, your experiences don't make all men or women bad. It makes your view, your perception of all men or women bad. You understand? So it's the same thing. If you can unlock your mind, you can free yourself, right? That's what he told him. Free yourself, right? 
Just what if we could? Like we we highly intelligent to dribble through your legs, go around your back, mm -hmm. and go up in the air and point one second to figure that out. You're a genius, young black man. <laughs> That's right. You're a genius, young That's brown right. man. If you could hurdle over somebody, spin left, spin right, and thought about that in a millisecond, you are a genius. That's right. They're gonna tell you you're an athlete. They're not gonna tell you there's a certain part of your brain. That's working. No part of the body works without the brain. You can't move this hand, your foot, your knee, nothing without telling your brain works. So stop even saying we ain't geniuses. Y'all know we geniuses. Stop hiding the truth. Like we kings, we queens, we royals. So I'm asking all of you guys to begin to meditate. Go inside of yourself and pull the greatness out of you because, man, it is already there. Somebody somewhere convinced us that we could not do stuff. And I'm telling you, the brain begins to shut down. And now you find things that you were once pretty good at. Now you ain't even good no more because you fell for the spell. You fell for the curse. I'm asking you all, Neo, because every one of us are Neo. Every one of us have to rise up. Every one of us have to. People like me, you can call people like me, producers like me, people who create content to help raise the awareness of the world. You can call people like me Morpheus, right? You can call people like me Morpheus, or you can call people like me Neo who has connected with mind, body, and soul, and therefore you are stepping back into the matrix and being different regardless of what type of ridicule, ridicule you may get. And notice every time Neo went back out into the matrix, it was always an agent, right? Even sometimes the people closest to him, um, not, not the people who were awake, but the people who were living in this environment, who were, who were not conscious and they were just living about in this world, they were agents too. At any moment they could be an agent. I'm telling you guys, when you are living your truth, once you rise, right, because 33 is the highest right the highest pinnacle to reach your brain from that from that from your spinal cord right that pineal gland right this is why they put serpents on the heads of of these pharaohs right it represents that pineal gland that energy right that that wisdom right so once you become this person and you become this this person who's able to walk about the world and be a free person a freeman right people are going to judge you you're going to say things that disrupt people's psyche because you are no longer asleep and it may disrupt their dream world right and then they get upset, don't they? Don't you get upset when someone wakes you up before time? You get pretty upset because you were asleep. You enjoyed that dream. One of the guys in the matrix even wanted to go back, but you can't go back. Because once you learn so much, you just can't squeeze your consciousness back into who you were. And it's not fun. He wanted the food to taste the same. And see, when you're conscious, you start eating different foods and it's not gonna taste like that sweet stuff you used to eat or that salty stuff you used to eat, right? It's gonna have a different taste now because it does something different to your body. They kept saying the food tastes bland. Right. They want he wanted they, they wanted to go back. One of them wanted to go back to get steak and have all these other things he used to eat. And, and we'll be like that. Sometimes we'll be like, man, ignorance was a bliss. I can remember being ignorant, man. I was much happier. Right. Because when you're conscious and aware, you're more aware of what's going on. So I said something the other day about every time we take a step, we're likely stepping on ants. When you're in a plane 10,000 feet in the air, you can't even tell humans exist. And if I were a giant that tall, man, I'd probably kill people on my way to work, on my way driving. Bug splat on my windshield and because I'm aware of this, it bothers me, right? And I'm, I'd be thinking of different ways to live, honestly, because I've now been aware of these things. And I can't say, forget it like I'm desensitized because I'm one of those people who believes that my, my life isn't more valuable than anyone else's. What, because they can't, they're insects or animals, I'm more valuable? No, now don't get me wrong, I understand everything consumes. If you live, you must consume. And if, if, and I, wanna, I only want to, to kill or, or take life if it means me surviving. When I eat plants or whatever I eat, uh, fish, whatever I eat, you know, um, it's going to bring me nutrients. And when I die, my body will go back to the earth and animals will consume it, right? That fish that I eat, it eats fish too. It eats things too. Everything has to eat. So you understand it in that way, it's fair. It's not good. It's not bad. You can't say it's good because then you create bad. You can't say it's bad and you create good. So it's ISIS, right? It is what it is. It's it's the it's, it's it's it is what it is like i am that i am it just is family so raise your consciousness and become aware and when you do live your life and trust me people are going to judge they're going to turn into agents you're, you're the, the, the closest ones to you you're going to and turn into an agent right and say things to hurt you and say things to to make you feel bad just like these agents did in the movie they would just turn into random random people would turn into agents and they when they would recognize that neo and them were present so when people recognize that you are present right like in within your mind you there you all here you're present right like you say in school they call your name are you here you say i'm present I'm trying to be funny right i'm present yeah yeah i'm present right i'm a gift i'm a present right i'm i'm present i'm here i'm conscious i'm a gift i'm a gift to the world right and even though they may not like it 
they need it. You're needed, right? Raise your consciousness and show the world just how powerful you can be by going inside of here, family. I'm telling you, be evolution. Be the change that you want to see. And no candle loses the flame from lighting another. And if you were to ever find yourself in the middle of chaos, it is in that chaos that you will find yourself. I'm Kevin Wesley. Peace.